the new Flashlink by Fortin. It's the version 4.32, which just basically landed. I've just been using this for about the last week now. And I know that people are going to have questions about it. So I went ahead, I'm going to screencast how it works, what features you need to know, and basically all the little things that are really much better about the product, basically, because there's a lot of stuff to cover. So first thing you want to do is when you plug in your old flashlight, if you have an old flashlight, you're going to want to update it to this version right here. Save it, open it up, run it, and then it's going to start looking like this. First thing is make sure you have your flashlight plugged into the USB cable to your PC. Then you're going to want to plug it into your Evo, which I'm going to do right now. This is going to be the screen you're going to see. Now, over here, you're going to notice that the layout is 100% different. Basically, over here, you're going to get your vehicles, your make and model, key start, gas, diesel, standalone, standard installation option, as well as your T-harness, standalone, hardwired installation, security features with or without alarm systems, and then your reload button right here. Over here is a different story. Over here, this is all new. Bug report, which you can just, it's self-explanatory. Videos, this is new. So anything that's proprietary to the vehicle, you're making model that you already have flashed or set for what your application is, it's going to come up in this box by itself. So this is totally new. So good job for Borton for putting that up there because that's gonna save them a lot of calls, I think. The help center. This is basically all your troubleshooting app, which again, they also have a Fortin troubleshooting app that you could download for free on your smartphone if you didn't know. It's free, so I suggest using it because you, know, you can't beat free, right? All your questions are here, which they also have a, um, a form on Fortin.ca or ifar.ca, whichever site you're using to access Fortin's information. Installation guides, which again, are proprietary to the vehicle I'm working on. So I already had mine pre flash for a 15 RAM, there's your installation guide, and then you got the other options for the other methods of using the system. So it suggests what firmware you use, the bypasses, the minimum, what's suggested for your application that you're doing. Also compatible RF kits, which ones work, what the settings are, the installation guides, how to program, they're all located right here, which is amazing. Before. Previously, you'd have to go to Fortin's website, locate it, read it, open it, have another window, and then you'd have to go back and forth between your flashlight, and it was crazy. So that's great. External triggers, which you could use, which I've never used, but if you're gonna, there you go. Telematics kit, now this is something that's important. This is the one I always use because it's awesome. Here's your installation guides, and again, it'll tell you which setting on your Evo applies to this, and I'm gonna get more into that in a second. All the other compatible systems are all located right here on the screen. There's so many, there's actually two pages of them. Again, terrific. Bypass kit. Now, what I want to do is, before I switch this vehicle and I want to do a real installation like as if I would do one for a regular customer, I want to show you another feature of this kit, which is called the decryptor. A lot of people don't know what the heck this is. Now, some vehicles, when you do the installation, require to do a decryptor. I'm going to show you an, an application for one like this one, which is the RAM. Now, on a typical vehicle, you're going to have to do the programming prior to using the remote start system, right? So you start with one, you unplug everything, you hold the button in, you get it onto the right color, which is yellow, plug in the plugs, blah, 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 right? Now, usually at this point, you get to a point where it flashes and it tells you it's ready to use, but some vehicles require an additional step, which is called the decryptor. So at this one, it's telling you once you get the blue flashing lights, you're supposed to unplug all the plugs from the unit, unplug it, bring it to your PC, and do the decryptor step. What this means in English is you have to download a, a intangible key onto the Evo All module with the PC. Again, only a PC. You can't use a Mac. Uh, by the way, onto your Evo. Once it's completed, it gives you the bar and it's 100% full. You bring it back to the vehicle, plug it back in, do what it says, if it's ignition, or just plug it in and start using it. In this case, you just plug in everything and just hit lock three times and it starts. That's what you're gonna do. So that's important. If you have, need to do the decryptor step, that right there is the tab to do so. And you just hit send data and the bar will and that's it. 
Now, I want to do a vehicle test for you. I'm going to use a Jeep. This is a pretty popular one. We'll do an 18 Wrangler. Standard key, because that's the only kind of key they have. Now, over here, you can do a standalone installation with a T-harness with no alarm, because I never use that. Now, when you load the settings, the screen's going to come up looking like this. Here's a blank bypass kit. And I'm going to go back to Jeep, 18, Wrangler, standard key. That's the only kind, standard install. T harness, no alarm, load settings. Now, let's see how it looks. You got all these green thumbs, which are required. OEM monitoring is on. Standalone remote start is off. You're going to want to turn that on. But you notice that down here, there's no RF kits, no options, no alarm features, none of that stuff, right? So, what you want to do is first update the module. So my update is done, it's rebooting the module, which is a new feature, it didn't do that in version two at all, which used to drive me crazy. So once it's done, it's gonna show you the correct firmware that's recommended for this vehicle is already set. Again, you have your guides, your help, the videos, bug reports are all located right there. But we're gonna stay on the bypass screen. Now what you wanna do is, you wanna do a standalone remote start for our 2018 Wrangler, the OEM remote monitoring has to be on, that's already set on. So now, standalone remote start, you want it to turn that on. Now, that's going to open up these options. So you have lock, unlock, lock. So if you want to do it in that way, so not to hear the horn when you remote start, or you can do three pulse lock activation, which is the default. You can adjust your runtime. If you are turning the diesel mode on, these settings here would apply to this tab right here. But in this case, we're going to leave that off. This you're gonna want on because you're gonna to want to disarm the factory security before a remote starts and then relock it after the vehicle is running, which is gonna keep it secure while it's in the running on the remote. And then here, we're not gonna do the alarm stuff because I don't need that. Now here's the RF kits. So if you wanted to use a Fortin brand, um, if you're gonna do the My Car, which I use for the smartphones, you would turn this one on. This is for Crime Stop or a Cool Start, which is what I always use by default, if, if you care. Um, down here is for Excalibur, Omega, DEI, Smart Start, and these two, which they're kind of antiquated, but you know, they're there. So there's all your settings. Once you're done, you just want to go up there and hit save. The settings protection. That locks all my settings onto the module. So that way, if a consumer gets it, botches up the installation and wants to do a master reset, this will protect him and me because he won't be able to screw up the system to a point where he has to have it reflashed. So if you have a, a, a module, you, keep, you plug it in, you're having a hard time programming or changing the settings, this is the reason why. Once you hit settings protection off, it'll unlock all these features. And you can get in there and do all this stuff, right? And there's lots of other little gadgets in here you can tinker with, but a lot of this stuff, you know, I don't really mess around with. But of course, if you have a flashlight and you want to do this, you know, you can play around with them as you feel fit. And that's really it. I think I've covered everything to the best of my ability. I hope you found the video useful. If you liked it, please give it a like. And if you didn't like it, give it a like anyway.